Now it's time for uh, this week's Tech 24 and we're back with uh, more news on the metaverse. Now that's the enhanced version of reality that Mark Zuckerberg is uh, really staking his legacy on as well as the future of his $800 billion company. This week he announced that uh, Meta is building the world's largest and fastest AI supercomputer to help bring this metaverse to life. To bring it to life for us is our technology editor, Peter O'Brien, who joins us on the programme. Good to have you with us, of course, Peter. Um, so Meta um, says its AI research supercluster is already one of the uh, fastest supercomputers around today. What exactly is it? So the RSC is essentially an array of 16,000 um, graphics processors, a bit like this, this one, built by NVIDIA. And given that we've no idea really where this supercomputer is, for me it's kind of like a massive brain in its secret layer, whirring away, trying to work on all of that data supplied to it by Meta's 3 billion daily users, users of platforms like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus. What's the point? Well, it's really to supercharge the development of AI tools, which will all go into building Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. So this is a virtual world that we can play in, we can work in, and we can interact with using wearable technology and our smartphones. So how is it actually different then to a regular super, a regular supercomputer, if you can have such a thing? Yeah. I mean, the ones used by researchers to study physics, climate change, that kind of thing. Yeah, so normal supercomputers are, are meant to be highly accurate and give very specific, mathematically correct results. But for AI, precision isn't really what matters as much. We're just trying to teach these machines a general understanding of things rather than constantly providing an exact answer. So less accuracy means AI supercomputers can work much faster and carry out more calculations per second. So in its current state, Meta's RSC is around the fifth most powerful supercomputer in the world and the most powerful AI-specific supercomputer, outstripping the likes of those built by Microsoft and NVIDIA already. Once it's finished, it should be the most powerful supercomputer of its kind in the world, if we're to believe what Meta's saying. Now, this is unusual because it's run by a private company rather than a government. Power seems to be the word here that we're focusing on. I mean, how much power is involved here then? Well, to give you an idea, the graphics card that I brought is uh, 11 gigabytes of memory. And the more memory, the faster it can run, the faster the, the more tasks the computer can take on. The RSC currently has 760 NVIDIA DGX A100 boxes, each of which have eight graphic cards inside and total 640 gigabytes of memory. I dread to think how much does this all cost, by the way, since we know how expensive chips have got over the last couple of years due to the shortage. Very roughly, though, that means the RSC is about 44,000 times more powerful than the PC that I use at home, which uses this. And Meta is actually planning on tripling this computing power come July. Wow, it's incredible figures, aren't they? So how exactly then all this power, once you've got it, um, how will it actually help build Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse? Yeah, so the Meta's AI lab is going to be using the R RSC to train AI to help understand the world around it better and help, in a way, replicate our own sensors and our own brains. It'll be training AI models on data sets which are as large as an exabyte. To give you an, a sense, that's the equivalent of 36,000 years of high quality video. Now it's hoping to improve AI's ability to speak and understand speech, teaching it many hundreds more languages. It'll increase its ability to recognize what exactly is going on in videos and photos, and it will train it to simulate the way humans and animals move more accurately in the virtual world. World. More importantly than all of this, though, it will be improving what's called multimodal AI. That's to take all of these different artificial sensors and put them together in a holistic whole. All of this will help build the augmented reality tools and bring together Mark Zuckerberg's vision for this metaverse. It all might, um, or all rather, anyway, does to me anyway, probably does to you as well, sound a little bit dystopian, but it comes as well, doesn't it? There's a lot of scrutiny, particularly on meta. Yes, dystopia word is banded, uh, banded around a lot. Um, but interestingly, when meta, meta revealed the RSC, it highlighted how it might help them get better at content moderation. As we know, meta has come under a lot of scrutiny for struggling to prevent hateful content on its platforms, and um, allegations have been raised that it's doesn't provide adequate protection for children on platforms like Facebook and Instagram either. But there are several other worries as well. So research from the from Lancaster University in the UK shows that carbon emissions from computing are actually much worse than we previously thought. So if you're going to build an enormous supercomputer, well, that's not exactly going to help global warming. 
Other than that, as for AI, simply increasing the size of your data set and the amount of computing power you have, that doesn't really n negate the problems that we already have in existing machine learning models. Things like the fact that AI language programs often replicate sexist and racist language that they find in the data sets they're using, and they often fail very basic tests of logic that any, any of us could do. As for the metaverse, well, many are understandably, as you say, fearful of an alternate reality, which is entirely built and run by a private, profit-driven company like Meta, like Facebook, especially one with a history of moderation issues. Mm.